Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a PHP video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, if you're just getting started with PHP and want to start developing, you're going to need somewhere to test your code. Now, you may have already purchased paid hosting and you may be able to upload PHP files. Check with your host to see if they allow PHP extensions. 99% uh, of paid and free hosting will allow you to run PHP on the server. It's, it's pretty much a must in most cases uh, for most hosting companies. So what happens if we want to test everything locally on our local computer? It's fair enough us creating a PHP file and uploading it to a server, but we want to quickly develop. We want to develop quickly and easily on um, our local machine. So what we can do is we can uh, essentially turn our computer into a web server. Now it's highly unrecommended that you allow people to access this web server because if it's not properly configured, uh, your php.ini uh, file is not properly configured or anything else is not configured, uh, you're going to run into trouble so you're going to have some security issues there. So bear in mind that everything I'm showing you is to set up a, uh, you're opening another port on your computer, so you're opening up port 80 on your computer which is going to allow people to access everything that you put into your htdocs folder. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about that's fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, explain to you uh, what you should do in order to um, create um, or install this mini web server onto your computer. Now um, I personally use XAMPP and the whole um, thing behind uh, your web server and PHP is that you're going to be using Apache and then PHP is a, is a module if you like on, on top of Apache which allows you to um, compile in the background server side because PHP is a server side language it allows you to compile um, PHP files and uh, run them and display the contents of your actions in the browser. So basically you need um, something like XAMPP or something like WAMP um, I'm showing you WAMP simply because um, you know if, if, if you're having problems with XAMPP or for any reason you want to use WAMP but I'm just going to show you that to say you to tell you that it is available uh, however I'm going to be uh, dealing with XAMPP and XAMPP default directories things like that so if you'd like to follow along with this tutorial um, I'm going to be using XAMPP otherwise go and install WAMP and see if you can take anything from this tutorial um, away with you and um, and apply it to WAMP settings as well. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is uh, obviously come to apachefriends.org um, and you're going to come down here and you're going to say XAMPP for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Solaris, any, any the obviously operating system that you are using. So it's obviously free of charge. Um, we've got little uh, screenshots here and easy installation, deinstallation, etc, etc, etc. So um, you can download um, you can download this for Windows by just simply clicking XAMPP for Windows and I'm going to be giving you the example here and running through for Windows so I'm not going to be using Linux, Mac OS or Solaris um, I, uh, I'm going to be using Windows in this case so once you've clicked the file um, or click this link uh, you're going to come down and you're going to say download XAMPP here so um, the installation here says method A installation within, with the installer or without the installer we're going to choose XAMPP here and um, what that's going to do is we can click on installer so I'd highly recommend you uh, install it with the installer we're going to click that and it's going to download so pretty simple stuff um, you're going to open this installation file um, once you uh, once it's downloaded so obviously it's hosted with SourceForge so you're going to save this file you're going to wait till that's downloaded 63.2 megabytes um, as it stands for this version